how did I get this lovely scar? It's faded, God, it's, it's faded a lot in the last 10 years. Um, so I wanted to do a video because um, I'm trying to share a lot more about me, about my life, about my career. Um, I wanted to share because a lot of people ask me, how did I get that scar? I know it sounds uh, very Joker Batman-ish, um, but I wanted to tell you guys how I got my lovely scar down my right humerus. Um, in 2011, I was in a competitive arm wrestling tournament called Bad to the Bone, and I broke my arm. And when I say I broke my arm, any seasoned arm wrestler knows you break your own arm in a tournament. Doesn't matter who you're pulling against. The only person who puts you in a bad position is you. So yes, confidently, I broke my own arm in an arm wrestling tournament. Um, I had started pulling in 2001. So I had done it for fun, um, competitively for 10 years. Um, never pulled anything, you know, high end or anything. I just it was just fun to do here and there at small town stuff. And I like going to the big tournaments, but I've never really had much of a huge desire to compete in them. Um, then my, my arm broke, obviously it took me completely out of the game. Um, but when my arm broke, I was working as a full-time dog groomer in 2001. I was only tattooing part-time on the side, kind of working on the apprenticeship stuff. And, um, when I started tattooing in 2007, it was a really rocky start. Apprenticeships are tough. Um, mentors are tough. Um, it's not, it's not an easy, super um, smooth uh, industry to get in. But um, when I broke my arm, I realized my strength, my tendons, everything had been affected. And so I couldn't go back to dog grooming. Um, my employer at the time um, explained to me very kindly that I'm a liability because if I re-injure on their watch, on their location, it made a lot of sense to me. So I took the push, I took the plunge, and I decided to start tattooing full time. Um, I had been tattooing... Um, at a shop consistently for about six, seven months prior to my arm break. Um, so when it broke, I was out of um, my ability to work for <laughs> several months waiting for my arm to repair. And as some of you know, and some of you don't, I also found out shortly after my arm was broken and I had to have, I think it was 37 stitches. There's eight screws still in there. The plate's still in my arm. It's still completely there. Um, I found out I was pregnant and so I was pregnant with a broken arm, um, broke my arm in a ta or in a, uh, <laughs> in a tattoo tournament, in an arm wrestling tournament, um, and that I'm a tattoo artist. So yeah, kind of a fun mix, um, has definitely been a reputation that's followed me, um, it's crazy to meet people in the big end of the arm wrestling world and they're like, oh yeah, you're the, the tattoo artist who broke her arm. Hey, however you know me, you know me. Um, but the biggest thing that that arm taught me when it broke, um, having my ability to use my arm, my hand, and to create um, is a blessing, not a privilege. Um, it made me realize when I could no longer use my right arm, just how much I valued what I could do with that arm. And I went full full speed ahead into my tattoo career after that. And um, I've been tattooing full time ever since, minus my maternity leave and a 10 month hiatus um, when I moved out of state briefly in 2014. Um, and I went from, you know, anything I could get, everything I could get, you know, charging pennies per hour, um, at least it felt like it, um, to now I'm getting a much more high-end clients. I specialize in photorealism and watercolor styles, and then I've created a fusion between the two. I don't know what to name it. I just call it an infusion tattoo that is 
my realism and watercolor styles kind of combined. Um, and I've done a lot of animal pieces with them. That's one I would love to add more to my portfolio. Um, but uh, it's a story I've rarely told. Um, a lot of people see the scar on my arm and the smart ass in me wants to say something funny and clever how I got that scar. Um, and oh, it was filmed. Um, my arm break was filmed. Um, it was of no fault of anyone but me because um, every time I see arm wrestlers um, and it's really small, small town stuff, blame the person they're pulling against or blame the ref. Well, no one made you pull in a tournament but you. Um, let's be honest. You signed the waiver. You signed up. You walked up to that table. No one had a gun pointed at your head. So I don't care how much flag I get for that, but it's true. I've known a lot of um, arm wrestlers that have broken their arm and come back and went to the sport. I, however, became a mom shortly after and my desire to fulfill my career was much more important. Even one of the coaches I was working with um, when I was arm wrestling refused to train me anymore when he found out what I did for a living. So thank you, Todd Hutchings. Um, but I started arm wrestling um, with Lane Facer when I was 17 years old in 2001. Um, I had a blast doing it on and off. It was great. They held a lot of great tournaments and now we're able to hold tournaments for um, charitable events. I've met a lot of really amazing people. I've tattooed a lot of people in the arm wrestling world. Arm wrestling still has a little place in my heart. Um, I'm still very close to my arm wrestling family and um, my arm break was one of the biggest blessings in my career and I will be the first one to say that and admit it and I'm glad for the lessons that it taught me and now everyone knows how I got that really big scar on the back of my arm. Thanks for watching, guys.